I've got here two Micro Four Thirds prime lenses. These are both 25 millimeter lenses from Panasonic. The difference is this one is $150. This one is $700. I'm gonna explain a little bit about what both of these lenses offers and then give you a little bit of my experience of using both of these lenses pretty frequently and maybe you can decide which one would be right for you. So these lenses are used on Micro Four Thirds cameras, for example, a GH5, that's where I've been primarily using these lenses. And I'm gonna show you what they both look like live on the GH5 in, in just a second. But before we do that, let's just talk a little bit about the specifications of these two guys. Now I've noticed, uh, I've mentioned the difference in price, but this one here from Lumix, um, this, this 25 millimeter, it is a uh, eight element lens configuration and it has an aperture of 1.7 as its uh, widest open aperture. This lens from Leica is a nine element lens configuration and it is slightly faster in that it goes to 1.4 aperture. So that's really the, the biggest difference. I think the other noticeable difference is in weight and build quality. So the cheaper Lumix lens is 125 grams, whereas this Leica lens is 200 grams, and you can really feel the difference in, in the weight. Okay, so let's take a look then at these things on my GH5 camera, and we'll start with the cheaper of the two lenses. So we're gonna clip this on to the GH5. and bring this down to 1.7 aperture. So what you're looking at now is the inside of my basement, which is also a little brewery here. Um, yeah, so it's a, it's a prime lens, so I can't zoom in or out at all, but it gives a nice, clear, sharp picture. And uh, let's bring in a bottle of wine here and just test out the bokeh that we get. So I'm gonna focus this in here. So we've got this, this bottle of wine in focus. And look, you've got this really nice blurry bokeh background here from this lens. It looks, it looks really nice. Now, this is a, a lens that I use frequently for video interviews or talking to camera, much like this. Uh, the fact that you get that really nice bokeh um, and, and that it is so wide open means you can use it in pretty much any light. Now, let's compare what you saw there for a $150 with a lens that is many times more expensive, the Leica lens. And look, just picking this up, it does feel like a really high quality lens. Just, just from that extra weight, the materials are a little bit nicer as well, but who cares? What does it actually perform like? Well, if I put it onto my GH5, let's take a look at this. So here is the view from this. And you'll see that the first thing I can do is bring down the aperture now to 1.4. So we are slightly more wide open. If I bring my bottle of wine into frame, click on the focus there. Well, I think you could argue that the bokeh is perhaps even better in this one. And, and that would make sense because we are at a wider aperture here, um, but it does, yeah, a lovely job as well. So which, should you get? Well, I, I, can, I can't really answer that for you, but I can just sort of share some of my experiences. When I'm doing two camera shoots, I will often use both of these lenses. So I'll have the Leica lens as my primary camera, and then off to the side, I will have this Lumix lens. Um, sometimes though, I model them up and I end up putting the Lumix lens as the A camera and the Leica as the B camera. And honestly, when I look at the footage in post for editing, I can't honestly tell you which was shot with which lens, which to me really is the main decision maker here that I think I would be just as well off with two of these cheaper lenses. And uh, I, I certainly wouldn't notice the difference and I'm pretty sure viewers wouldn't either. But if, if having the a slightly faster aperture is important to you or just the, the build quality or just the like and name, then perhaps this is a good option as well. Now I have been reviewing 
every one of my Micro Four Thirds lenses. And I've got a video that compares all of them. So if you'd like to understand a little bit more about some of the other lenses you can use with a GH5 or other Micro Four Thirds cameras, please do check that out. And thank you for watching. Thank you.